Hello and welcome to the Engineering Dynamics course companion. This is class zero. It's the introduction to a set of videos uh, that are meant to help you and be a companion on your journey as you take dynamics, one of the most difficult classes that you'll have in your engineering career. What do I mean by course companions? Well, on one level, it's Newt Dog. He's Sir Isaac Newton and his buddy Wormy. Now, Sir Isaac Newton here is a young man with a, a, a portrait by uh, Godfrey Neller. Um, he got a little older and uh, was wearing a powdered wig eventually. So this is his rep my representation of Newt Dog. Um, the Course Companions are two books. Here they are right here, book one and book two. And uh, this video zero is meant to introduce you, introduce you to these books and uh, let you understand what the rest of the videos are going to be like. So you might have uh, read, uh, seen one of these videos and then backtracked and tried to figure out what the hell is going on. So um, these are companions. These, core, these books are meant to be course companions and not necessarily the textbook for your class. So you might be assigned a textbook, but these uh, course companions are meant to be extra examples, um, often more difficult examples than you would typically have in your, uh, uh, in your textbooks. Now, some of the textbooks that I have in mind to be the companion to are Beer Johnston, Hibbler, Bedford and Fowler, or Tongue. There's many other textbooks, but these are very four very common ones, and this course companion is meant to try to complement, not uh, replace these books. So, at the beginning of each chapter, I like to include the bottom line up front, the bluff. And this is a short little segment to kind of get you ready for what's inside. So maybe before the class starts, you might want to read these things uh, in each chapter to kind of get an idea what you're going to learn and get ready for it. In this case, in the introduction, you want to explain what dynamics is. It's the study of motion. And then come up with a couple uh, definitions. Really, two really good, important ones to keep in mind. Kinematics and kinetics. Kinematics is the description of the motion. It ignores, it ignores the cause of the motion. Uh, this is usually relating time, position, we'll call it x, velocity, and acceleration right, and the interplay uh, between those things. Um, so like the acceleration you'll see is like the time uh, rate change, the derivative of velocity, right? You don't see any forces in there. We don't know why it's accelerating. We're just describing its acceleration. But we have kinetics. Now we start to get into what is causing it to accelerate. In this case, you might uh, see the famous equation, the sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration, right? So we're relating loads and motion, the loads and the motion. So there's a connection between kinetics and kinematics there. But we start out with kinematics and then we go to kinetics. We can also categorize uh, things happening in dynamics by uh, the nature of the object. We have particles and rigid bodies. And particles, we treat them as point masses. Uh, that doesn't necessarily have to mean a really small point. They just have to be uh, so that their size and their shape don't really matter to uh, what the outcome is going to be. But we might have a rigid body. Um, it might uh, have a, a big enough shape or, or the shape is significant, so we have to consider it. And one of the more important things will happen is that we'll also have to worry about the rotation of the, uh, the object, whereas the particles don't rotate. So the dynamics can be broken down into four parts, and I will uh, show you a couple um, more further breakdowns of these right here. Uh, we'll have particle kinematics, particle kinetics, rigid body kinematics, and rigid, rigid body kinetics. It's really important to kind of know what uh, the structure of the class is going to be so you can follow along and know where you are. So the table of contents for particles, which is the part one of the course companion, uh, we start with the kinematics of particles, and we have rectal, uh, well, I don't need to read all of these two. You can read them, but you'll see in the next slide uh, how these are uh, relevant to maybe the course that you're taking, right? So we start out with kinematics with five classes of kinematics. Uh, then we have kinetics, and we have seven classes of uh, kinetics in particles. Then we have part two here, the second book, second volume, and we have kinematics of rigid bodies. 
and we have six classes of there, and we have six classes of rigid body kinetics. So we have a total of 24 classes. And a schedule, an example schedule, might look like this for an undergraduate sophomore level uh, dynamics class. You might, your college might uh, have three uh, day a week classes. These are two day a week classes for a 14 week semester, um, but it's rather typical. Um, also, some uh, courses might include vibration at the end, so you might shift some of uh, these topics around. But uh, this is a, a, a qu quite a common breakdown. Um, so, and you could see that there's a, a 14 weeks and uh, somehow uh, number 12, um, he, got, uh, he got lost somewhere, number 12. Um, so in each of these topics, uh, we, I introduce cartoons that are relevant uh, to some concept and try to uh, be, act as a visual mnemonic uh, to try to remember uh, something important about the topic. And um, so one of the really important things of this book is to have lots and lots of examples to address some of the uh, very um, common complaints that students have, that the examples are so much easier than the homework and, and the exam. So I wanted to make um, example problems that are, are written out long ways, not skipping any steps, and are more challenging. So uh, this book, uh, these books could be helpful to uh, students that uh, are, are struggling and want to see something more. Uh, they're not satisfied with what, what's being presented. It also could help maybe instructors who want more examples or want something uh, uh, in addition to what's available in their textbooks. Um, the publisher of this is Morgan and Claypool. And um, you want to click on the links below uh, to go to the publisher to, uh, to acquire the books and uh, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Um, in addition to uh, all of the, oh, and by the way, Newt Dog and Wormy are registered trademarks of Edward James Deal. Mm, who that guy is. Oh, and by the way, I didn't bring my little puppet out. Here's Wormy as well. Oh, I forgot him. All right. Um, so anyway, there's going to be 24 of these videos. And um, by, at the end of each of the books, there's a bunch of extra problems. In addition to the examples, I've also got um, example, perhaps exam questions. Uh, some of these were actually exam questions that have been given before. So uh, this is going to be uh, a work in progress. Uh, hopefully these videos will help a lot of people. And, um, and stir up interest uh, for the books because um, these were written um, not really to uh, make money but as much to, to help students um, because this is a difficult class and I really think that this could be uh, very helpful. So it's glad to meet you and I hope that you'll uh, enjoy this. And please feel free to provide feedback uh, 